I made one simple change printing TPU and my prints went from this to this. My name is Mick and I'll show you what I did on the 3D printing zone. My kids love the Open Bionics TPU hand. They're constantly asking to print them for their friends and thought it would be fun to give them away instead of candy next Halloween. Crazy idea. The only problem is these prints take three and a half hours each. We have a ton of kids in our neighborhood who knows how long it would take to print enough for everyone. I decided to try printing them faster. I know, I know. TPU needs to be printed at slower speeds. But if that's the case, why sell TPU that claims it can print up to 500 millimeters per second? Let's test out that claim. I turned up the speed and was able to print the hand in under an hour. That's three times as fast. The only problem is it came out looking like this. That's not acceptable and I believe we can do better. There are a few things to consider when printing with TPU. The extruder type, print speed, retraction, moisture levels, and temperature. This isn't a complete list, but it's a good start. With extruders, there are two main types, a Bowden extruder and a direct drive extruder. A Bowden extruder pushes filament through a tube that's connected to the print head. This lightens the load of the print head, but also creates a small amount of slack in the line. A direct drive extruder sits above the print head and pushes filament directly into the heated nozzle, hence the name direct drive. The recommended type for TPU is a direct drive and that's what I'll be using today. With speed, I've been told the slower you go, the better. The recommendation is anywhere between five millimeters and 30 millimeters per second. That's really slow. Since I don't have that luxury, I'm hoping we can figure this out another way. Maybe this is a retraction issue. When a printer retracts, it pulls the filament back to relieve some of the pressure at the nozzle. This is typically done when the print head is traveling to prevent stringing. This might be my answer. I'll print the retraction test in Orca Slicer. The TPU is from Saint Smart and suggests printing anywhere between 220 and 240 degrees Celsius. This is some of my favorite TPU. I'll drop a link down below. I'll set the temperature at 230 and use retraction settings between one and two millimeters. Then I'll send it to my FlashForge printer. Here's the result. Ugh, pretty terrible. Let's bump it up between five and six millimeters. Uh, that wasn't much better. I just realized something. Notice how the bed moves down every time the print head travels left and right? That's a feature called Z-Hop. If you're unfamiliar with this feature, it basically lifts the nozzle above the print surface every time there's a retraction or a layer change depending on your settings. I believe this could be the issue. When a printer prepares to travel, it'll usually coast and wipe the print head before moving to another part. This happens really fast and is hard to catch on a camera, so here's an example with a 3D pen. Before traveling to the next print, I'll move the nozzle a little more and wipe it to help prevent stringing. Let's see that again. If I have Z-Hop enabled, instead of stopping the flow and wiping, the nozzle moves up. See what happens? Sometimes I'll enable Z-Hop if I'm printing a part that might start to warp on the edges. As the print head comes around, instead of knocking into the print and possibly knocking it off the bed, or knocking that part off, it'll hop above it, mitigating the risk of knocking that off. Let's run the print again without Z-Hop. Voila, is perfect. My job's done here. Ugh. Well, obviously that didn't work. In fact, that looks terrible. What about moisture? TPU is known for printing terribly if it has moisture even a little bit. Last I checked, I haven't soaked my TPU in water. However, if you live in a humid climate, it'll naturally soak up small amounts of moisture over time, depending on how you store it. This TPU is brand new, so I don't think that's the issue, but I need to rule it out. I live in a dry climate, but who knows? Maybe that is part of the problem. And I'm kind of at a loss. I, I've tried everything else. I'll place the filament in my dryer and leave it overnight. Let's see if that does the trick. Okay, 
It's been sitting for almost 24 hours. Let's print another test. I think it's a little better, but still not good enough. What is going on? Why are my prints getting worse as I'm trying to make them better? I'm guessing this doesn't happen to anyone else, right? You don't have this issue? Maybe you have the perfect settings for TPU or you have a suggestion. Please put them in the comments if you do, because this is, this is hard. I'm almost at a loss. Now, I know this filament is a new type of filament from Saint Smart. I'm wondering if maybe that's the issue. It's a clear TPU filament. I've used other clear TPU filaments though, and they've worked fine. Is there something I'm forgetting? There are a few things to consider when printing with TPU. The extruder type, print speed, retraction, moisture levels, and temperature, temperature, temperature. Oh, what about temperature? Let's try running a temperature test. But before we do that, please, please, please subscribe. We're trying to hit our next goal. It doesn't cost anything to you, but we really appreciate it. So if you're enjoying this channel and you want to see more product reviews or other exciting, fun things that we're working on, click that subscribe button. I hate asking for subscribes. It sounds so desperate. Don't, don't do it if you don't want to, but if you do want to, do it. Okay, let's run the test. I'll create a temperature test between 200 and 240 degrees Celsius. Remember how I said this filament should be printed between 220 and 240? Well, on the flashboards and with this filament type, I don't think that's the case. But according to this test, the temperature around 215 or 210 looks a lot better than the higher temperatures. This tower was pretty tall and it was starting to sway a little bit at the top. So I printed another test with just the lower temperatures. I mean, that looks really good. Did I just solve my issue? Is this the problem? Is it a temperature thing? Let's run one last test and see. Wow. That looks so much better, no stringing at all. Let's see if that'll fix the issue with the hand. I'm gonna print some of the hand at the higher temperature and then the rest at that lower temperature and see if we can tell the difference. Oh baby, that looks so much better. You could tell at the bottom where it was a higher temperature and how it transitioned to that lower temperature and stopped the stringing altogether. That's the trick, change your temperature. I mean, that looks so much better. Let's print some more. If you're having issues with TPU, try out these steps. Perhaps they will work for you. And if they don't, leave a comment below. We have a community, we're here to help each other. We will figure this out together. Huge shout out to Same Smart. Thank you for sponsoring this video. We love these new colors you've released. They work really well. And now all the neighborhood kids are gonna enjoy them too. If you're new to 3D printing, take a look at this video or take a look at this one. Dunzo.